Okay, for this quick video showing off the new Synchron Brass, let's focus on the instrument that is make it or break it for this piece, which is the first trumpet. Also, I did this piece while I had coronavirus that I'm recovered from now at this point. And if it doesn't sound like the 1970 whatever recording, I was not trying to match the original recording in this or the remastered version. It was purely done to make it sound good because that's what we're about here. Right. <laughs> To maximize power, the main articulation used is the sforzatissimo. Double tonguing is handled by the fast repetitions with the ringing release. The short notes in the fanfare section, I've locked on the, to the staccato, long, bold version of the, that short note, and that's because uh, sometimes the bold is a little bit cleaner than the agile, although sometimes you want the agile version of that short note sprinkled in for realism because it's not going to be totally clean every single time, no matter how good the players are. But then once we're into the theme, we're really centered around that main articulation, the dynamics tree, or the two uh, sforzados, the loud one and the softer one. But also notice, listen to those high Cs. I'm able to get those high Cs done powerfully four or five different ways, each equally powerful, but different. I don't know too many other libraries to where you can have that number of options for a note like that. It's great for this John Williams stuff because he writes trumpet parts that are way up there all the time. And again, with the other short notes, it's just a matter of picking between the short, long, or portato short notes. They match really well with the longs and the other articulations from the dynamics tree. Just make sure you match the velocities of the note. And do notice, I've got Velocity Crossfade turned off um, because the new way you control dynamics in this library is with the timbre adjust, or that's the best way to control dynamics with a long note. So that's a quick overview of the articulations used. Oh, and here at the end, I've got those upbeats. That's for your triplet or 16th upbeat type stuff. Um, that would be double-tongued even, or triple-tongued. So I hope this piques your interest. This is Stephen Limbaugh. Thank you very much for listening, and have a good one.